Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be creating a card using a bunch of new products from Mama Elephant. I'm using the Hippity Hop stamp set as well as the Lots of Letters stamp set. And then I have this die set that actually has a bunch of circles all nested together. And when I take, take these apart with my wire cutters, I'm actually going to keep the two interior pieces together so that I can die cut them to create a frame. That'll make more sense here in a minute. I'm using some watercolor paper today. This is Fabriano Artistico Extra White Cold Press Watercolor Paper. And I'm die cutting that sort of window circular frame out of that watercolor paper. And I will set this aside so I can do some uh, do something with the elbow later. I will use it for the spacing and kind of design of the card, but for now I'm not really doing anything particularly with that frame. So I've cut down another piece of watercolor paper and that I've cut it down to the size of a card front. So it's five and a half wide by four and a quarter tall. And I've traced that circular window frame onto it just so I can get some spacing right. So from the Hippity Hop stamp set, I'm gonna use this little itty bitty bunny stamp. And I thought it was so cute. I thought I would have the small bunny in the far right bottom corner of the card and the bunny would be looking through the window. So I'm positioning it exactly where I would want it to be on the card where that circle window would be. And then I'm going to replace that watercolor paper with the, the other panel of watercolor paper because I'm going to stamp the bunny, color him, and then I'm going to cut off the bottom so it's a long strip and I just wanted to create a little bit of dimension on the card. Uh, it's hard to explain, but hopefully once I get going here on the card, it will make more sense. I've stamped the bunny in some antique linen distress ink so that I can do some no line coloring with the rabbit. The watercolors I'm using today are Magello Mission Gold, and I'm doing a really simple uh, no line coloring shading on this bunny. I'm mostly just using shades of brown and I wanna make sure that as I paint this bunny that I have a lot of contrast at the edges where the lines would be because that's the only way that I'm going to be able to differentiate between the different areas of the image. So I'm working in lots of layers and you know, adding a little bit here and there trying to darken up those lines. I also added a little bit of pink to the bunny's cheeks and also its nose. And then I just kept darkening up all of the different areas. Um, it's best to start with a really light shade of the color you want and then build from there because if you put it on too dark from the very beginning, it's really hard to, to walk it back from that and make it lighter, especially with a watercolor. It's really hard to do that. Um, sometimes it's possible by picking up the color, but in general, it's best to just start with some lighter colors. So I added a nice shadow from the uh, coming from the bunny and added even more shading. I kept darkening this up just because I wanted it to look a little bit more defined. So like I said before, I was planning to cut out the bottom portion of this watercolor paper. So I'm using a T-square ruler and an X-Acto knife or a craft knife to cut around that bunny. And then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut right up against the line of the bunny and cut that out. Now I did have to sacrifice the bunny's whiskers. I wasn't able to keep those because I, I didn't wanna to have to fussy cut around all of those. I thought they were a little bit too small and intricate to cut out by themselves. So after I had this entire like bottom bunny area done, it was time to paint the background of the card. So I went back to the watercolor paper where I had that circle and I'm actually going to kind of freehand draw another circle just inside that one. If you remember that circle I drew earlier was the outside edge of that circle window and I don't want a line to show at all once I adhere the circle window so I had to make my own pencil line just inside of that. I'm going to start by putting a bunch of water all over this background. I want this card to have a really soft look to it, especially with the no line coloring from that bunny. Um, it kind of lends itself to have a more ethereal, very dreamlike, and just really soft and cozy look. And 
In order to do that and have it kind of keep that cozy look, I'm going to use a soft coral color that I've mixed together using a bunch of different colors in my palette. And I'm going to drop that in into different areas on this card, uh, watercolor paper. Just dropping it in. I'm mostly leaving that circle area completely blank for now. I will paint over it in a minute and I'm using darker colors when I do so it really wouldn't matter if that coral shade went into the circle but I just wanted to keep that area clean so that I knew what I'll be doing th with it later. So I dry that with my heat tool and then I came in with some clean water and added water to just that circle shape. Then I started dropping in some blue and dark blue kind of navy shades. The idea is that this circle area is going to be behind the window frame and it's going to be a nighttime scene with a dark blue sky and eventually I'll be adding some stars. I want it to look like the bunny is looking out at the nighttime sky. So I'm dropping in lots of uh, kind of navy blue shades and then to darken, up, darken it up even more, I dried it and now I'm going to bring in some black. And even though I'm practically painting black completely over the top of this entire shape, because watercolor is inherently transparent, some of that blue that's underneath is going to kind of glow through all of that black watercolor. And once it's dry, I'm going to have a nice kind of dark blue and nearly dark gray black kind of blotchiness that creates a really cool nighttime sky. So I'm just placing everything kind of together so I can get an idea of how this card is going to be designed and pieced together. I didn't sketch out this card. I had an idea of what I wanted it to be, but I hadn't really sketched it out completely. So I'm kind of working on the fly here and making adjustments as I go. So I used that Lots of Letters stamp set to stamp the greeting Miss You in some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I just penciled on where that like long strip of cardstock or watercolor paper would be so I knew how far up to stamp those words. Then created the card base out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock in the 110 pound version and I scored that at five and a half to create a side folding card. I then put some adhesive on the back of this watercolor panel and adhered it onto the card but eventually I'm actually going to take this apart and move that panel because I didn't like where it was spaced. Um, I'm, I'm, for now, I'm kind of going ahead with my plan, but while I was making this card in the back of my mind, I was thinking, is this a mistake? <laughs> Am I going to have to fix it later? I was, wasn't quite sure how it was going to work out, and it turns out that it was a mistake, but I'll show you how I fixed that. So I added a really thin strip of foam tape to that kind of circle frame, and I also added some white dots using a jelly roll pen to create all the stars in the sky. I then placed that window frame right over the top and the card is starting to come together and this is when I'm starting to doubt like that window looks like it's too far down on the card. It looks too low. So I decided to peel it up from the card base and I just moved that up so that it was probably about three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the card. Almost a whole inch. And then I'll trim off the top so that that window is nearer to the top of the card. So now I'm going to take that bunny strip and put some foam adhesive on the back. And then I'll go ahead and put it down onto the bottom of the card, getting that positioning just right. So I liked the spacing of this better with the bunny more below the window. I think that looks a little bit better. And because I kind of like piece this all together, I did have to cut off about a half an inch off that one end of the card. So I just used a ruler and a craft knife just to make sure that that entire end of the card was nice and flush. I then uh, realized that now the greeting was too far up from the bottom of the card. So I had an opportunity to add an additional word. So I decided to add the word always. And because I didn't have quite the stamp that I wanted, I decided to write it on myself using a black pen. This is just a pilot envelope addressing pen. This is the extra fine version. And I penciled on the word first and then traced it with my black pen and then very carefully, very lightly erase the pencil lines. 
So I realized that that area at the bottom with the bunny, it needed a little bit more contrast or a hint so that you would know that it was a different area. So I brought in a very pale gray and I just kind of watered that out from the edge so that it gave you a hint of a difference in color, but it wasn't too overwhelming. Once again, I'm trying to keep this card very, very soft and gentle looking. And that finishes the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was a little bit of a, it was a little bit all over the place, but in the end, it came out with a card that I absolutely love. It kind of tells a story about that lonely little bunny. Thanks so much for watching today. I will see you guys on Wednesday for an all new card video. Thank you.